Hello peeps. Just another quick update on uh, where we are with the villa. Just to record some uh, stuff that's been going on. I'm going to turn that off because I don't need it on. And you get a better view. So, working on the beach gradually. We have had a few changes around here. We've put a path in, which makes uh, getting around that corner a lot easier, especially when we're offloading the boat here. And we've put Titch in her fishing spot. Once this willow grows a bit higher, it's going to be a lovely spot. And I'm going to do some fishing here. I've decided, because I've not touched fishing at all. And we've planted some hedges along here just to give the path a bit of a an ending. Didn't look right with uh, that and that. Needed a break. Trees are growing, we're going to put rose bushes there. Got to get rid of all uh, some bits and bobs around here. Uh, the biggest thing around this corner is that the garden is pretty much done now. Hedges are planted, bushes are planted, and the lawn has been trimmed. Now we're going to have thorn bushes there. Uh, I think we've got some fruit bushes, hazelnut and berry, and just some rose bushes there. I've left this blank because we put some benches in here and I just like to sit down and look out. Although that thorn bush is probably going to grow quite big. We'll have to wait and see. And again on the other side as well. Not much has changed on, apart from that here. Still working on bits and bobs in there. I'll show you that in a minute. The other big change is just around the other corner. Which we finally... Um, Extended, leveled off, got the trees replanted, and this is now all farmland, pretty much, more or less. I'm quite surprised at how much farmland we've got. This is purely just to grow crops for the villa. Nothing industrial or anything like that. Might do a bit of bread making as well. And then I've got some fruit trees, oranges, lemons, apples, and cherry. Decided to plant those here. And have a complete um, completes the end type thing. We can always extend the farm if we want to do something bigger. Move the trees away because they were getting a little bit too close to there. But I'm happy with the way that turned out. getting distracted left, right and centre by all the uh, views that you can get from this place. You'll see the planets, especially at night. And we've had some wildlife spotted as well, marine wildlife. I saw another whale and I saw a shark. Yet to find us the octopus though. Not much changing here, still working on all this, gradually. I've been playing around with dyes. Green. This is still being worked on. Dabbling around with furniture bits, but uh, that's not going to stay there, doesn't it, right? Nothing happening much in that room yet. I'm playing with the curtains. <laughs> Don't know whether to. Uh, I think this room might have them, just one room. My room. <laughs> but I'm not sure if I'm going to go with green. I was just playing around with the colours there. Into the kitchen, which is... Uh, I'm actually starting to do some cooking in here, to the point where I've actually put a stool in. And I sit down and do some stuff, which I never did at Thousbring. I say this is feeling like a proper home. I do a hell of a lot more here than I have ever done at the D back home, which is really weird. 
I don't know if it's because of the location or what, but uh, doing a, a lot that I've never done before. Which again sort of like opens up a lot of worm that I've not experienced. I put these here. I saw this on the worm um, picture that they released with the dragons. Dragon statue, and I thought, well, you know, that looks quite good. And it's also somewhere to put for my coffee cups and teacups. Because they won't all fit on the empty uh, bookcase, because this only holds 15 items. But that's what we did with that one. I might put some other stuff on there gradually. The only problem is that you can only access to grab them on the other side because this table is pushed in from the outside. If you do it from the inside, it leaves a massive gap. So you have to do it from the other side, which is fine. Up here, not much. I have built a bed which I merely screwed up with the last um, wood type. This is lavender. Wasn't the colour I was going for, but I picked up the wrong thing. A load of expletives, but uh, it's built now, so um, I don't know if we have to put another two in here or what, or just one. Umming and ahhing about furniture. And then over here, not much at all. But I am liking the view. Now, out the back, things have been added, which are nice. We have added some marble benches and table to both ends. And that's pretty cool when just sat out here. And again, you just look around you. Especially at night. Not easy, easy to get them up here, but uh, we built them in place. But it was a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare. Now, this spot has revealed a secret, which we'll go and test out. I found us out pretty by accident. I am now having a huge amount of fun with it. I'm glad I left the uh, chain link fence off, but if you're really inclined to do so, you can run off and go for a swim and not take any damage, which I'm loving. <laughs> Ridiculous as that is, I now have a diving area. I'm loving it. This is why I'm not getting anything done around here now. I'm just, um, just doing stuff that I've never done before, or just mucking around. But I am having fun, and if you're having fun in Worm, that's all that matters. But that's it so far. I am happy with the garden. I might plant some different bushes gradually though, because these are just relics from the uh, need to get sprouts for the hedges. And we're probably going to build a few more flower pots for the back area, similar to what we've done here, just to give it some colour. And we'll probably continue to try and green up some of this area gradually. But all in all, I am loving it. If you do have the opportunity to uh, find yourself an island in the middle of a bay or in the sea, 
definitely recommend you build something there. Right, that's it from me. I will see you again, either on a scout or on the next update. You all take care out there and have fun worming. Speak to you soon.